Hi everybody, welcome to my channel Creations by Shuba. Today we're going to learn the second basic element of mandala art, which is a lotus element. You may have seen many designs with lotus patterns. So I thought of bringing this video tutorial to you guys. Today we are going to learn the same lotus pattern with two different methods. One with the brushes and the second one is without the brushes. So without the brushes, we're going to learn the same pattern with the dotting tools. And with the brushes, I know many of us struggle a lot with the brushes and the swooshes. So I'm going to come up with another tutorial where we're going to learn a lot about the swooshes and we're going to gain mastery on the swooshes, I promise. But today, let's go ahead and get started with the two methods of the lotus pattern. I'm going to divide this video into two chapters. In the description box, you can click on the timestamp for whichever one you want to learn one with the brushes and one with the dotting tools. Let's get started. So since this is a lotus design, we have picked three different pinks. One is strawberry pink, the another is dragon fruit pink, and the another is carousel pink, uh, dragon fruit and carousel pink, okay? I just wanted to make sure that uh, when I draw the petals, the paint the petals, of the lotus uh, you at least see some color gradient but you don't need to choose if you're starting really as a beginner just pick one color and get going with this okay and I'm going to need some of the dotting tools for my second method and these are some of the dotting tools and I will need brush and I'm using Jerry Q 5 on 0 liner brush okay I'm using a 510, you can use a 210, 310 as well. And in case our lotus is a smaller lotus, then the liner brush that you can also use should have a, th a shorter bristles. Um, that way, you know, you can, you can remain in the smaller section. But if your lotus is a bigger lotus, like a like quite a big lotus and you're drawing a lot of longer swooshes then i recommend using liner brushes long with longer bristles okay and i'm using this um, indie girl dotting tool along with my other dotting tools uh, the other dotting tools have rounded ends this indie girl um, the one that i use for dragging my swooshes if I'm using a dot dotting tool. So I'm going to just demonstrate that uh, in the video as well. So let's get started with the brushes first. Okay. So first off, I'm going to be just very, very lightly drawing the center of the lotus. Okay. You don't have to be a very good, um, you know, sketch person or drawing person if you just want to use some you know basic drawing skills that is also fine so I just want to make sure that this is good for demonstration purposes so this is roughly what I'm going to be making my lotus look like okay and of course when you're painting you definitely you know if you're a creative person i'm sure you're like me you know i whatever i draw i generally go beyond that when i'm actually painting over it so here i'm using the blueberry uh it's not blueberry is it blueberry yeah no it's sorry it's strawberry the strawberry deco art americana uh, version paint version and i'm using my liner brush 510 jerry q so what i generally do is this is just my way of drawing the lotus so i start i start with you know taking quite a bit of paint in my brush and let me show it to you again so i go and press my brush and then as I go down I lift it up slowly so if you see it starts with a thicker area and then it tapers down okay so I'm going to do the same thing now this time around I'm going to reverse the 
direction and that's how I do a lotus okay you can do it any which way so you can see how I'm holding the brush and I'm lifting it as I'm ending the pattern okay so let me go over it one more time and many of us who are already following this mandala art journey for quite some time they will be like how can you even go on wet paint the paint is not yet dry and you're going over it second time yes you can and this is how I will do it because you see as long as you do not take off the base layer of that paint and you slowly go over it just to enhance the paint the color you're still good with that okay so now let me go and do my second petal okay and I'm gonna follow the same method so if you see what I did is I'm pressing the brush and letting the paint come off on the paper as I go down and then I'm lifting the brush slowly as I go down okay this is how I am going okay so I'll just go over it just to make the lotus look a little more richer with the color because I see that and this is a common um, phenomenon you will see when you're using liner brushes which are very thin like because I'm using a 510 this is the problem um, the 510 is a very very thin brush very few uh, bristles in it and what happens is uh, as the bristles are very thin and very few it can hold only certain amount of paint so as you go thin it down it's going to just be like streaks of the color you may not have a full um, good amount of color uh, okay let me just use now this for this one I'm using a 510 and it's a round rounded brush this is not a liner brush the reason I'm using this for smaller petals is because for the smaller area this will hold the paint um, much nicer okay so I'm using dragon fruit this time it's a lovely color okay okay so this is how I'm loading my brush let's try the same and see how much paint it holds yeah it is the same but yeah you don't need to go over it as I am doing I'm, I just want to make it more richer and fuller in the uh, as you look at it but yeah you don't need to just master the swoosh technique and you should be good to go so I'm going to do the second street, uh, second petal, I mean the third petal of the lotus with the same color. And this is how it looks. And let me, so every time I'm using different color, I'm cleaning my brush. No, I'm just rinsing it. Okay. And this one is a, now this color is carousel pink. I just love this carousel pink. It's just so babyish, like a baby pink. Okay, so this, again, you see how I'm doing it. I'm pressing the brush on the paper just in the beginning. And then as I go down, I'm lifting it slowly and smoothly just to give that tapering effect okay and now that our petals have started to become smaller I'm going to either make it quick or just lift it sooner because our swooshes are going to be smaller this time around okay this is how I draw a lotus with brush okay and you're free to 
you know, do something for the inside of the lotus. So you, if you want, you can do some different colors. If you are into mirror work, then you can put some mirrors inside. So this is the brush method for swooshes. So now we are going to use the dotting tools to make the lotus. And this is how I generally work with the dotting tools if I'm not working with brushes. Okay, so I'm just making a good fully loaded center dot for the center petal of the lotus. Now I'm going to use my Indie Girl. This is the Indie Girl, if you can see. I don't know. Yeah, this is the Indie Girl. Um, so what I do is I just drag it first upward and then downward and then slowly go from the sides and fill it up. Like you're basically just drawing. You're not scratching the paper. Make sure that you're not doing that. You're just spreading the paint but with very fine hands. You're not going very harsh on the paper. Or the surface that you're dotting on but this is the way you make a nice petal okay okay so now I'm going to use maybe a 2.5 dotting tool with the same color okay and we're gonna go follow the same pattern same shape of the lotus okay so I'm gonna load it up quite fully and just place just a full big dot okay okay so I'm just loading the dots with a lot of paint and now I'm going to use that same Indie Girl dotting tool to spread the paint and basically you're just drawing a very smooth curvature with the paint, uh, with the dotting tool. Okay, so this is how you can still use a dotting tool and not freak about using brushes. I've seen this many a times um, in many of us, you know, and also some of my students. Um, yeah, so. Okay, now I'm gonna wipe my tools with paper towel and switch up the colors using the dragon fruit now I'm trying to follow the same method same same color gradient so that you can still see the comparison and I'm still using the same tool to make round full fuller dot okay and then use the indie girl thin dotting tool to spread it nicely around so while spreading if you are seeing that there's not much of paint coming along then you go back to the fuller part again and you have to just make sure that you don't see any empty streaks Okay, going back to it, we have one more of the same color. Now as we go down, you will see that the swooshes are kind of getting smaller. So you'll have to use less and less 
initial round dot paint okay and if you feel there are more number of you know more uh, more and more streaks that that you see you can actually also dip your dragging tool into paint like fresh paint not not keep dragging the same uh, you know from the same dot because you may not have enough color in there you know enough paint in there so you can actually dip it in fresh paint and just go over it yeah and just make sure that there's no empty points okay and then I'm going to switch up my paint and use the Caruso pink now for this one as you see that we are going towards the end and there's not much of space or you may just try to use a different technique this time okay so I'm using a different tool and what I'm going to do is just drag with the same tool like that and I'm not switching up my tool to use a dot differently and drag differently but I'm also using I'm actually using the same tool to drag it all the way okay you can also do follow this technique and get your swooshes right like that there we go as you see that these are the two lotus patterns that we painted today the top one is with the brush and the bottom one is with the dotting tools okay but something that stands out is the sizes of these two lotuses the top one is a little bigger one the bottom one is a little smaller one I recommend that if you're drawing if you're going for bigger patterns bigger elements uh, like even if those are bigger um, you know bigger chunk of designs I would suggest that you use brush and if they are tinier ones or smaller ones I, I recommend using dotting tools dotting tools also will keep the color very rich and full throughout whereas if you look at this um, the top pattern you will see that towards the end when we are actually lifting the brush up and you know we are tapering the design down the, the color is kind of thinned down and although I have used the exact same shades uh, from the same brand Decorat Americana okay so this is how you will see that the same color will vary for two different um, sizes if you're using two different tools one is a brush one is the dotting tool so I hope you enjoyed today's session where we used two different methods to draw the same lotus pattern I have some practice sheets you can download from Etsy shop the link is down below also in the description I will mention all the links and I wish you have a happy dotting journey let me know in the comment section if you want to learn something very specific but definitely there are certain tutorials that are lined up in my head and I'm gonna soon bring them up for you thank you bye bye